redeemed in Christ. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. A very powerful and very important revelation in New Testament scripture is the truth of our redemption in Christ Jesus. All of this was uh, in some way foreshadowed or foretold uh, in the Old Testament scriptures. And in the New Testament, as believers in Jesus, we have the reality of it. The fact that we are redeemed in Christ or in Christ, we have redemption. Now, this week, we'd like to just focus in and remind ourselves of the reality of our redemption and some of the redemption blessings that are ours. But first of all, let's understand what redemption is and let's just remind ourselves what this is all about. Ephesians 1 and verse 7 says that in Christ we have redemption through His blood. That means the blood of Jesus was given as a ransom or was given as a redemption price to make our redemption possible. So what had happened? We had sold ourselves, man had sold ourselves as slaves to the enemy. So Satan had gained mastery over us, control over our lives. And we were like slaves in the hands of Satan. We were his prisoners. But the Lord Jesus offered his own blood before the Father as the ransom, as the redemption price. And he came and he set us free. And he took us out from that place of slavery and he lifted us back and restored us back in the place that God had intended for us to be sons and daughters of God. And he raised us up to a place higher than ever before to be seated at the very right hand of the Father. Now that's redemption. To redeem means to buy out of slavery and to restore to its original state. That's and that's redemption, to buy out and to bring back and to restore. But Jesus did so much more for us than just restore us. He took us up higher and he made us heirs of God, joint heirs with Jesus. And all this was possible through his blood. The blood of Jesus is powerful because that's, our, that's the redemption price or the price that was paid for our redemption. You and I are the redeemed of the Lord. That means, in reality, this is spiritual truth. Satan has no more claim over us, no more legal right over us, has no more legal access to us. That means he should not be doing this anymore. He has no more claim, no more right, no more access. It's over. We are the redeemed of the Lord. We need to be assured of that. We need to know this. This is what Christ has given to us. You are the redeemed of the Lord. In Him, you are redeemed by His blood. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much that we have been redeemed by your blood. That in you, we have redemption. That includes the forgiveness of our sins. That includes complete release from the clutches of Satan. We are redeemed. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.